morning everyone it is 9 51 <sighs> super duper late and this is again tea time with me jack tech so some of you were saying that the other tea times work soft i think that's because i had the terrible habit of always leaving the microphone which is right here over off to the side because i was that's what i was doing um but now it's right there so let me know if the volume is better uh, the volume sensitivity is maxed out for OBS, but I usually keep it around 50% in Windows, and that works quite nicely for the clipping, uh, or the lack thereof. So, update time, right? Um, uh, let's do... Okay, so the computer RAM was in the wrong slot, even though it was working before in the wrong slot, but now it's not, it wasn't working in the wrong slot, and it was like a little bit loose. So maybe it would have worked in the wrong slot anyway, but in any case, uh, what uh, Paul did, Paul from PM Computer Services uh, in Winsocket, first of all, super awesome, super nice guy. Um, second of all, what he did was he took apart my entire computer and put it back together again uh, and cleaned it, when he did that, it actually fixed this, fixed this other problem that I was having that I tried to fix myself. Obviously not quite as experienced, but uh, my computer would not turn on by the power switch. I had to, I've been using the motherboard switch for like more than a year, uh, maybe, maybe more than two years. I've been just using the power button on the motherboard and leaving the case open because I was just like, ah, oh, man, I can't figure out why this is broken and I don't feel like paying someone to fix it. Um, Dropped off the computer, the standard charge is $35. Um, and I also dropped off the monitor uh, that was broken. And it it is, the backlighting is just going on it, unfortunately. Really upsetting, but it's sort of like, I don't blame BenQ or the monitor at all, uh, because I moved that shit like four times, and one of the times was across the country. So it's like it, that much bouncing around, and I used to work for FedEx. Uh, and I know what happens back there. <laughs> shit gets real, you know? Shit gets thrown around and stepped on and all the, like, arrows that point up. That shit doesn't get followed. You, you'd like to think it was, and they're gonna tell you. Oh, yeah, yeah, we always put the arrows up. When you get down to it, it's all about time. And they can deal with the lack of complaints. People aren't gonna complain. Most people don't complain. Unless it's something really bad, and if it's really bad, they take the hit, but monetarily, it's smarter for them uh, to be a little bit lax on the, the safety of the package, uh, to push more packages through and just like, poof, poof, poof. but you know, up front, it's always like, yes, yes, the, the, the quality, the assurance of the package is the most important thing, and then in the background, all the people in the factory are just like, fucking throw the shit out, I can't relate, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, but yeah, so I don't really blame Ben Q for that kind of thing. Moving stuff around is going to happen. Moving stuff around is probably why the RAM stick came loose. Um, or maybe it was me when I was trying to clean things out. I didn't really quite put it back in properly. Um, but he told me a couple of, of, of tricks, uh, how to like troubleshoot in the future. So that way, you know, if that were to happen to me again, be like, okay, you know, you should check this first. This is how you know it's this kind of a problem. And he just like, like sat down, well, he didn't sit down, we we're standing, but he explained it all to me. Uh, and that's potential business. He's like taking away from itself, himself and time that he could be doing other stuff to like help me understand my computer better so that I don't have to come in as often, which was really cool. Um, and the monitor was, you know, the backlighting was gone. So I was like, okay, cool. So I was expecting to have to spend money on a hard drive or maybe even a graphics card. And I was like, oh, God, I hate trouble. Um, but I did all the calculations and I was like, okay, you know, I can spend about, I can afford to spend about $500 um, fixing the computer and still go to BlizzCon uh, based on the uh, fundraising that has come in, which is now up to $1,335. Thank you all very much, everyone, for uh, contributing and supporting. Uh, the donations that are like, hey, go to BlizzCon, are pretty much not coming in. These are just the normal contributions. Um, I can't tell you the people, but there was a very generous person who very recently donated, uh, and the Patreon came in, and that's where a lot of that is from. 
Um, but yeah, so cool, cool. What I did was, uh, so I was expecting to spend a lot of money, and I and he actually didn't charge me a full thirty five. He was like, ah, eh, just you know, twenty five is fine. I didn't really do that much, you know. I and and like it was like multiple days that he had the computer, and he was trying to figure out what it was, and he was like, oh yeah, you know, just it just give me twenty five, and that's fine. And I was like, what? okay, cool, you know, just give me money off. That's one of the cool things about working with like small businesses. They're like. They appreciate your business, and you can talk to a human being. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm old. Maybe an old-fashioned guy, but I fucking love it. And um, I don't have to ship shit anywhere. He's just like, yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, so in any case, uh, I was super pumped about that, and I had a super crazy scare because I haven't done very many backups. Most of my stuff is online, but there are a couple of things that aren't. And I decided to get one of these guys. I mean, maybe you hate the Toshiba. I don't know. But in any case, external hard drive, terabyte. Doing a backup on that, so that way all the stuff will be backed up 100%. I haven't done very many backups, because uh, I only had a thumb drive, and I was like, okay, you know, I don't have money to buy an external hard drive. It costs like 100 bucks or whatever. It's like, I don't have money to do it. I don't. I just, I, and I've been putting it off for the past, like, you know, two and a half years. But now, now, uh, thanks to you all, I now have an external hard drive, and I can use it to back up my shit. <laughs> Pretty basic. And thank you all for, for contributing and making that happen, because without you, shit would not happen. Now, on to the better part. I was talking about to him, and I wanted to get a three monitor set up. Ugh. I was like, what would I need to do? And he would just he was just like, well, you just need to buy monitors. I was like, what? And yeah, so now we have, hey, focus you. Yeah. Now we've got the full monitor set up. Hopefully there wasn't anything sensitive on that Skype. Probably not. No, just the sandbox chat. Um Yeah. So now I got the full three monitors set up, which is good because Skype can pretty much always be up. Uh, even when I'm in a game and reading a build order or you know in a game and doing research and writing down timings and stuff like that or writing down timings or stuff like that or or both at the same time or if I need like that many with a notebook It's cool. I dig it. I'm super excited um, To get to work and all that stuff um, This is a long one. This is a long one. This is a long one. Oh, it's not that bad 745 not that bad. I thought it would be terribly long um Big faux pas for me to talk about the length of the video at any point in time, because then and now you're all like, "Oh wow, it is long. I got stuff to do. We just wrap it up, you know." But now I got the three monitors set up. Uh, someone was like, "Oh hey, you should try this monitor out," and I was like, "Oh cool, I'll check it out." You know, I looked at the price like six hundred dollars, and I was like, "Oh my god." You all spend a whole <laughs> well, not you all, but he actually is down. With it. You know, it's it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. It's like six hundred dollars for a monitor, and that was a low price. Some of them were like a thousand dollars. Um, and I was just like, my God, it's like, I, last time I bought a monitor, it was 350 and I really thought, I was like, whoa, I was getting the good stuff on that one. Yeah, but no, um, these were each 200 I still have the BenQ, super awesome for gaming, and I use this screen to play StarCraft on, and the other screens, it's not really that important for them to be super duper gaming amazing stuff, I just need the one monitor that I use for gaming for playing the game that has a really good response time and it's really clean and crisp and fast and whatever. Um, I'm not in a position to really tell, like, oh yeah, my spreadsheet on this monitor, well, I used to have a BenQ and now my spreadsheets just aren't as clear with the uh, with the LG, but, but yeah, a couple of LGs, BenQ in the middle, you know, a little bit of mishmash of everything. Uh, hard drive, the BenQ, so in total it was $500, 200, 200, 100. Um, and he like threw in like the cable that I needed to get it set up and he helped me set up the three monitor thing for, for free. He's like, hey, if you have any, have any trouble, just like call me, I'll remote access and help you get it set up. And I was just like, cool, you know? But yeah, so if you're ever, if you live in the Woonsocket area and you're looking for some computer stuff, go to PM computer services. A guy named Paul runs it. He's been running it for since 1994. Um, 
really nice guy, really reasonable, not going to screw you over. You know, because he, he very easily could have screwed me over and been like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, there was a, there's a, because we all thought, you know, based on the, the thing, it was like, oh, yeah, like, it sounds like a, a hard drive problem. He'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, it's hard drive problem, so I had to replace the hard drive, and then, you know, you could have very easily done something like that, and I wouldn't have known. And instead, he just charged me less for doing a bunch of work and... In return, I was like, I want to support you. I think you're great. And I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff from you. So thank you. And there we are. I mean, I think I could have saved... And I think that's kind of the point, too. I think I probably could have saved some money uh, buying them online. I have Amazon Prime, so I got that two-day shipping for free thing going on. I probably could have, you know, saved a couple of bucks doing the online thing. But I think that it's useful and good to support local businesses and especially support local businesses who are like doing a really good service for you and are, are operating honestly and and all that kind of stuff I think it's like really good so what do you think about that what are you what do you think about my god we're getting political what do you think about small businesses in America or in whatever country you're from like what is what is that all like you know tell me what's up it's glad to be back be pumping out the videos very soon. I know that it's been a while since, since I did a Bro Jack cast, so have one of those coming up as well. <laughs>